heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. When we last left off, uh, it's been a, quite a while again, I feel like I say that way too often. Uh, again, just before we get this episode started, just to reiterate, recording is kind of a pain in the butt for me. However, I have gotten the opportunity to record a little more since I have more free time to myself. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to get back into the recording game, as if I ever stopped. Uh, we'll probably have more episodes coming out now that I can actually do that. But if you do miss me and you want to see more of me because I don't upload too many videos because, you know, I'm stupid like that, you can find me and my crew over at the Twitch channel. We stream almost every day. If I can, I stream every day, every single day. Try to, we'll stream all day. Whatever the hell I'm playing. <laughs> so if you want to come hang out with us, uh, I am going to be doing live streams on Twitch whenever I can. Or, I mean, whoops. I'm going to be doing live streams on YouTube whenever I can. Uh, so if you want to hang out like that, you can. But I am going to be on Twitch pretty much all the time. Uh, I try to do both, but, you know, recording is a lot harder than just simply playing a game on Twitch. Twitch is a lot easier for me. Uh, and I am a big bitch baby when it comes to my audio, so there's also that. But... As you can tell, we are not at Hollow Bastion right now. We're not trying to climb up Hollow Bastion to go where I said we were going to do last time. What we're actually going to do is we're going to be... Uh, hold on, i got to catch my breath. Ugh. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, we're going to be catching our breath, and then we're actually going to be going get a, a secret keyblade. I guess it's technically secret. Uh, because it was actually a request of somebody from the block. My good friend Eco wants me to go and get Lady Luck and use it on the behemoth. Uh, you don't know who the behemoth is, so, you know, spoiler alert. <laughs> there is a boss fight we have to do when we get back to Hollow Bastion, so, you know, I guess that's a good warning for you. I already told you about it. Uh, but we are going to be going to get that Keyblade, the Lady Luck, which we have to go back to Alice in Wonderland for. But, of course, at least we don't have to actually go there. But, hold on. Okay, I thought there was going to be a bigger loader screen than that. But we're going to warp straight to Wonderland. And we're going to go get this Keyblade, because you can get it as soon as you have the White Trinity. I don't know how long we're actually going to use Lady Luck, but we're going to... I'm going to be uh, the boss with it, because I did I did say I would. And I'm not I'm not going to go back on my promise, Eco. I promise. You know I love you. We're going to do it. We're going to do it like it's 1987. 85? Party like it's 1990? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever that saying is. Okay, I probably should not have talked over that uh, loading screen because the loading screens take fucking forever. But let me tell you, while we're doing this, and nothing really matters right now anyway, so while we're getting through this and going find Lady Luck, let me tell you a little story about how I absolutely hate this game right now. <laughs> I don't actually hate Kingdom Hearts uh, Final Mix or 1.5 Collection uh, as games. Like, I love Kingdom Hearts 1 and I love Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I fucking hate them when it comes to collecting their trophies. Now, I know most of the internet is like in a consensus about this, but like, holy shit. This game is fucking awful when you're trying to go for the trophies. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 is kind of annoying, but not so bad, but it is bad, you know what I'm saying? Like the grind. And then you get to Chain of Memories. Holy fuck buckets. That, god dang it. I hate it. It's the worst. I'm still not done platinuming it yet. I did platinum Kingdom Hearts 1, which is kind of what we've been doing on stream the past couple of times. Uh, but... Oh god, I don't have Leaf Bracer on. That's bad. Um, but yes, Chain of Memories can go suck an egg. Getting the platinum for that game has been an achievement all in of itself. Uh, I'm proud of it, but it's not really worth it. <laughs> but I do want to get the... I want to get the platinum trophies for all Kingdom Hearts games, including Kingdom Hearts 3, which will be coming out, you know, whenever. <laughs> If you don't, if if you're curious as to what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to actually get the Trinity that's in the uh, that's in there. We haven't gotten that yet, so hopefully, can I do it now? Even though Donald and Goofy are dead, is this gonna revive Donald and Goofy? Cause that would be absolutely hilarious. Nope. Wait, did it? Oh God! What the hell? Oh shit! It summoned monsters. Trinity, you lied to me. You were supposed to give me a treasure chest, but all you gave me was pain. Okay, we're good. We're okay. Don't worry about it. Mithril Shard. Okay, that's used for synthesis. We're not going to be doing any synthesizing in this playthrough. I will show you where to find some uh, ingredients and the best way to farm for ingredients. 
I will not be making all of the synthesis items in this playthrough. I will show you the items, though. I'm going to show you, uh, well, the items aren't really important. What's really important is the final items that you get from the synthesis, which I have on another file because I had to do that for the trophies. So I will show you what you get. I am not showing you me grinding for all of them because that's stupid. It is absolutely abhorred. But right now we have to actually go find the painting or we have to get to the wall with the painting on it, which I don't exactly remember where that's at. So hopefully I can, you know, wiggle my way around the area and figure it out. Shouldn't be too, too hard. We're also going to have to go find all the puppies as soon as we can because Aurora... Or Auroraga? Auroraga, right? Auroraga is really fantastic. Also, there's a blue trinity over here. Let me kill this enemy. Kill all the enemies that show up here. Boop, boop, boop. Get out of here. You're the last one. And Donald's over there doing his business. It's good. Okay, are we good? Are the enemies gone? Despawn. Okay, good. Trinity! And kaboom. I'll probably just start a new game later to show off like a trophy guide, like where to find all the trinities, where to find all the puppies or whatever. But again, that's going to happen after the normal playthrough because the normal playthroughs are just for showing off the game itself. Uh, I've already told you this a billion times. But I'm just going to reiterate, there's some puppies right there. Check that out. Aren't we fantastic? We didn't even need to go that way. So hooray for that. I think what we need to do actually is do we need to go to the... Hmm. I, I, you know what? I think I know where we need to go. We need to go up there, but I have, think I have to turn big for that, which requires a potion, so yay for me, I guess. Uh, you know what? Do I have a potion? I have a high potion. That's not what I need, so I guess I have to take out these enemies. Damn it. You know, I could have thought... Ooh, a Blizzard ring? What? That's pretty sweet. I should have thought this out better and actually went and looked for it. Oh, come on. You know what? No. No, to hell with you. I'm not dealing with your bullshit game. Customize. No, that's not it. Uh, equipment? Sora? No. Items. I'm stupid. Uh, stock potions. Exchange for the mega elixir because I don't want to accidentally use that. Ether. Okay, I don't really need this many, but we're going to put them there anyway because, you know, science. Right? That's, that's how that goes. Science. Okie doke. So with that said, we just... No, not here. We talk to this flower. Not really talk to it. We just use a potion on the flower. And we've already done this before. This is redundancy. I'm super sorry about this. We will get to some plot in this game. Or this episode, I promise. So I'm going to knock that down. I'm going to eat it. And then with that, we should be able to wiggle our way around the area and find the place that I need to go to. Which I think I just... I'm just going to ignore all these Heartless. I really don't need to fight them. It is, like, not a good idea. This is the bizarre room. Is this the way? Is this the place? Is this... No. This is not the place. Great. You lied to me, game. Ooh, you know what? Actually, can I just... Is this it? This is it. Okay, so you go... Follow where I've gone through and then go through here. Cool beans, so I did go the right way. We didn't waste any time, thankfully. And then we used the White Trinity. And the three of us to combined together to create Captain Planet Chest. Huzzah, Kalu Kaleo, glorious day. We got Lady Luck, and I think it's actually better than what we're using, maybe? It is not, but I'm gonna use it anyway because I said I would. And there it is, the Lady Luck. It's actually a really cool Keyblade that I've never used before, so thank you, Eco, for making me use it. The design is cool. It's gonna hemp, it's gonna hamper us by taking away our attack power, but I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but, oh crap, how do I get out of here? I will meet you guys back on the world map, though. And thus, we are back at Hollow Bastion. So we have Donald and Goofy with us, which we're gonna take Beast later. However, I do have to get through Hollow Bastion to make it back up to the top. Uh, you do not want to see me do that because it's literally the same thing we've done before. Except a second time, and it's boring as shit as you saw the first time, so I'm just going to cut to when we get there. However, I think there might be another Keyblade we can get up on up to the way there, so if we, if we can get it, I'll show it off. If not, I'll see you back at the top of Hollow Bastion.
You've come to seal the keyhole, right? Please be careful. The darkness is raging deep inside. Gross. We've been holding it back, but we can't hold out much longer. We'll take care of it. So, I have never actually seen that scene, so that's something we experienced together. Except you probably have seen that scene before. I've never actually activated that cutscene. There's like two cutscenes in this game that you activate by going out of your way to find the cutscene, so that's kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. But, as you can clearly see, we can actually get the thing that I think we can get here, so let's talk to Bell real quick. This is for you. Use it to face the darkness as Beast has. And we get the Divine Rose, which is quite frankly one of the most powerful Keyblades in this game, if not, like, base. Like, it's just a super, super, super good Keyblade, and I will be using it after we beat the boss coming up, but I did make a promise that I would beat the Behemoth using the Lady Luck, so unfortunately I've got to stick with it. It's gonna be okay, though. We can make it through this, guys. I believe in the me that believes in me. Wait, that's not right. But I will see you guys at the top of Hollow Bastion because now I just have to climb. Okie doke, guys, and we're finally here, back at the chapel. So, we have the princesses just hanging out, doing their thing over here. Hello, how's it going? Sora, please hurry. Darkness is pouring from the keyhole. It's all we can do to just hold back the darkness. I don't know how long we can manage even that. Alright, I'm on my way. We're counting on you, Keyblade Master. In the meantime, we'll do what we can too. So, this is pretty funny. It's not gonna be funny right now, but later on, like, their dialogue here just is kinda silly. Just a little bit. But, yeah, let's talk to Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. We've been waiting for you, Keyblade Master. Where's Ansem? Gone. When the key- ah, when the keyhole appeared, darkness poured out of it. It swallowed Ansem and he disappeared. Though Ansem is gone, the flood of darkness hasn't stopped. We're working together to hold it back. I cannot forget the look on his face. As the darkness engulfed him, he was smiling. Well, that's pretty much absolutely terrifying. Thanks, guys. Thanks for giving me the one-up. However, we are... I have to go make sure I re-equip my, uh, Lady Luck. I equipped the, the Rose just to make sure my trek up here was going to be pretty nice. And I can't wait to use that Keyblade because I love that Keyblade. However... We have to go and stop, uh, what's his face? Actually, we have to walk through this and one more corridor, as you guys remember. There's one more secret little, it's like, oh, hey, remember, you think you're going to the final fight right here? But no, you have to just get through this part first. Now we're at the Grand Hall. We also get another Keyblade here, which is kind of stupid because they nerfed the crap out of it. Uh, in the original, this Keyblade was super, super, super good, but now it's just, like, crappy and it's, you know, it's sad. It's sad when your uh, favorite Keyblades get nerfed. A actually, it's it doesn't matter what game you're playing. If your favorite item gets nerfed, it just makes you sad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I wish I had the Divine Rose right now. I don't even know if I need to defeat these guys, really. But might as well, right? Get them out of the way because I can't open chests while there's enemies around, unfortunately. Okay. You're just going to teleport back where you were? Yeah, you are. You're an idiot. But that's all there is. Oh, you, so you know what? No. Nope. No, 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 no. Ooh, another treasure. God damn, there's so many treasure chests that I want to open. Man, come on. I'm going to use this on myself. Oh, God, my nose itches. Damn it. Why are you itching so much nose? I'm trying to do a thing here. Okay, jump up, hit him in the head, get hit. Jump up, hit him in the head, get hit. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. God dang, just just die. Please just die. Okay, are we good? Can I collect my stuff? Okay, make sure there's hopefully no more. One, two. Dark matter, good. That's for synthesizing. Don't miss that. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm just gonna run away. I'm gonna come up here and hopefully that guy just stops fighting me. Come on. Disappear. There we go. And here's the Keyblade. The Oblivion. The Oblivion is the brother keyblade to the oath keeper so we have the oblivion and we have the oath keeper the divine rose is actually better than the oblivion uh in the fact that it gives you one more mp 
and it gives you 44 strength instead of uh, just 5. So yeah, that's that's that right there. The Oblivion is a pretty cool keyblade though, just by design and whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's all we have about that. Now we're about to go do a boss fight, which is going to be, you know, fun. It's not going to be that bad, actually. This boss fight's pretty simple. Can we just walk in there and ignore these guys? We can! I actually kind of like this boss room, too, so... And now we have the behemoth, and he's kind of a butt. He has very few moves that are actually gonna do anything to you. You just get up on his back, and then you just beat the tarnation out of his horn. Wait for him to stomp and move around because you don't want to accidentally fall off of him, like I'm probably about to do. Yeah. And I'm almost dead. Holy crap, he does a lot more damage than I thought he did, so, you know, again, be careful. But all you really have to do is wail on his head. And he's fucking doing this again. Is he gonna jump? Is he jumping, or...? No, he's just moving. And Donald and Goofy are already dead. They're probably going to die on this fight period because they are terrible. What the hell? Oh, is he down? Okay. So when you hit him enough times, he's going to fall down like this. And then what you just do is hit him, and then when he's about to roar, heal. If you have Leaf Bracer. If you don't have Leaf Bracer, that heal technique is not going to work for you, so be careful. Uh, he does shoot energy balls out, which I think will home in on you. Maybe? Oh, he just... Never mind, it's just a... No, he does. Okay. But, yes, besides that, this is all the fight is. It's just fighting his horn. Beating the shit out of it until you get the opportunity to beat the crap out of it when he's knocked down. And you can't really do too much damage to him before he actually starts to do that roar thing again. So when he starts doing the roar, make sure you have Leaf Bracer on and heal. And that's all there is to it. This guy's kind of a chump. He is a chump baby. We just have to do a lot of weight. I like that flaming heart in the background. That looks really cool. But okay. This should be our last little burst of attacking him. He should be done after this. So, I mean, I say that, but he's probably going to roar after this. So, yeah, never mind. He's, he's actually going to be able to get one last attack in. One last hurrah, one could say. Heal. And then we just need to get up on his back and beat the shit out of him. Because then he's going to be dead. Wham. You know what? Get my arrow out. Oh, crap. Ow. Ow. I can't heal. I am in trouble right now. Okay. Now I can heal. Fuck you. Fuck you, behemoth. Bam, bam. Whoa, bam And we are successful in fighting that boss. He is really nothing. Got the Omega Arts. <laughs> now let's go and seal that big keyhole. Sora, you did it. What are you guys doing here? We came in Sid's ship. This is our childhood home. We wanted to see it again. It's in worse shape than I feared. It used to be so peaceful. Don't worry. If we defeat Ansem, all should be restored. Including your island. Really? But it also means goodbye. Once the worlds are restored, they'll all be separated again. Everyone will go back to where they came from. Then I'll visit you guys with the gummy ship. It's not that simple. Before all this, you didn't know about the other worlds, right? Because every world was isolated. Impassable walls divided them. The Heartless destroyed those walls, but if the worlds return, so will the walls. Which means gummy ships will be useless. So you're saying we'll never... We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Besides, I couldn't forget you even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? Hurry! Come and close the keyhole! 
Sora. Good luck. Thank you, Sora. I think the darkness has begun to weaken. But I can feel a power dark uh, a powerful darkness growing somewhere far away. Is the heart of the darkness uh, it's the heart of the darkness. It must be where Ansem went. Then we'll take the gummy ship and deal with both Ansem and the Heartless. A worthy answer, Keyblade Master. We offer this power to aid you in battle. And we attain the power of fire. We have Firaga now. Hooray! Sora, your courage can bring back our worlds. Once the darkness is gone, all shall return to its original state. The fuck was that? I guess someone was walking upstairs. Kairu will be back on the island? Most certainly, and you should be too. I can't go home till I find Riku and the king. Yep, we can't leave. So yeah, now we're... We sealed the keyhole in Hollow Bastion. And what we can actually do is go to the gummy menu and go back to another room and get another prize. Because we do get something for actually beating this. Uh, there's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. The competition's a lot tougher now, so be careful. We're not going to be doing that for a while, though. But, uh, yeah, we can actually go to... We'll just... Uh, normal or warp drive, doesn't matter. We're going back to Hollow Bastion because actually what we're going to be doing is we're going to be... What are we doing? We're collecting something. I forgot. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. We get a prize for beating this place. We're actually going to the library. And once we go to the library, if I'm not mistaken, somebody should be here waiting to greet us with something cool. Something cool as fuck. Not really. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on your outlook on life, but it'll be helpful. Uh, so, Bell's here, and I think... Yes, Aerith is here. Hello. How are you doing, baby girl? Sora, you should read these. Or this. Read what? It's the report. Uh, the rest of the answer report. Maleficent must have had collected it. Why didn't we find it before? Ansem's report number two. Number four. Number six. Number ten. Thank you, Aerith. Talk to her again. Ansem disappeared when this world fell to the darkness. It was believed that he died defending people from the Heartless, but Ansem was the one who brought them here. Mm-hmm. Talk to her one more time. Handsome waits in the darkness. Something about light. Did we... Oh, yeah. Got the power of heal. Cure. We got Curaga. Hooray. Sorry, I kind of accidentally went through that a little too fast. Hey, Leon. How you doing? This was Handsome Castle. He was widely respected as a wise man, but darkness took him. He began experimenting with people's hearts. Heh. <laughs> Some wise man. So much suffering and ruin, and for what? I don't think... We thought this was Maleficent's doing, but it was just another puppet of the darkness, just like Ansem. The darkness is our real enemy, but how but how, yeah, how do we beat it? I don't think he gives us anything. Well, first things first, let's purge every last Heartless we can find. It's probably his last statement, right? I won't use my real name until this world is restored. Wow, okay. I won't use my... So, you're not going to use the word squall? You douche? Whatever, I don't even know why. But yes, that is it. We are done with Hollow Bastion, pretty much, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we've done everything. We've locked the keyhole, and now we just need to go into the gummy ship and make our way to the new place, which is where Ansem is waiting like an assholeian. Uh, but we'll probably save that for later. I do have to go there. Uh, but I might do some grinding off screen. I, I'm trying to think if there's anything we need to do. I do want to make sure we go get Aurora first, so we're probably going to go back to the world's. Uh, I do know we need to go do one more world that I've been saving until now. Uh, we get some pretty cool stuff from that too, but yeah, we are almost at the end game. The next episode's gonna be probably us going collect some extra stuff, and then if we have enough time, we might just start our way to the, to the end. So yeah, we only have a few more episodes left of the story. 
So that's all the time we have for this one. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Later days, everybody.